New at 6 on NBC 26, a private school at Appleton turned upside down when more than a dozen teachers suddenly walk off the job. It all started when Appleton Academy sent out a warning to teachers saying they couldn't make payroll. And apparently those teachers say it isn't the first time the school's been late with their paychecks. Eileen Park has been following this story, and Eileen, it sounds like quite a mess in Appleton. Stacy, it's a big mess. Right now, the school only has 22 teachers in total, and now some of those positions are already filled as of today, but the students are taking it pretty hard in what's becoming an escalating war over words between the school and the teachers. It's a complete shock. Harper Wendt never saw this coming. It's like a family here, so... Having them just leave like that, thinking that they all cared about us so much, and I never expect this. She's been going to the academy for many years now, and it feels like her teachers abandoned her. It's, I can't even explain, it's just horrible. And Harper's mother, Beth, agrees. The way they did it, totally unacceptable as a parent. It all started when the school sent out a warning to teachers last week saying they couldn't make payroll this time because of $100,000 owed to the school in back tuition. We all know how the economy is right now and that plays into people's ability to, to pay bills. In a letter sent to NBC26 by the teacher's attorney, they say they were told that they would no longer be paid a salary and that this was not the first time the academy struggled to pay teachers appropriately. I'm getting my master's in education. No one goes into education to become wealthy. You do it because you love children, you love education. And although the teachers didn't officially resign, students like Harper don't want them back anymore. I don't, I don't want them back. I'm never going to be able to forgive them. I, if they come here, I, I'm not going to their class. I can't do it after them just abandoning all of us. And right now, the focus is on restaffing the remaining positions. And Jody, the co-founder, tells me she's already overwhelmed with all the extremely qualified teachers, those even with PhDs applying for the positions. So now the question is, what about those teachers that are left? What's going to happen to them? Well, I spoke with the founder of the school, and she said that she's willing to listen to the cases of teachers that do want to come back. But she says many of the positions have already been filled. All right. Thanks, Eileen.